An encouraging update from the CDC about AIDS cases in Atlanta. A recent study showing a strong decline in the number of new cases. 11 Live's Christy Diaz is joining us live with more. So Christy, you've been going through this study. What really stands out to you? Yes, Cheryl, I've been going through the numbers and typically Georgia stands out as the state with the highest number of new HIV infection rates, but these numbers are trending downward, which is good news. Let me see if I can break down this report and these numbers for you. They look at rates over five years from 2017 to 2021, and the study shows that cases are down both statewide and nationally, which is good news. Georgia is down about 12% and it's down about 7% nationally. Now, if you look at the span of one year, just from 2020 to 2021, that's where the rates differ. Georgia's rates still went down about 5%, but nationally the rate went up 18%. Now there is a caveat here. The CDC warns the numbers in 2020 could have been artificially low due to missed reporting during the pandemic. But overall, this is good news for the rates in Georgia and in Fulton County specifically. Here's an expert from the CDC's Division of HIV Prevention. In Fulton County, we see over 500 new HIV diagnoses per year, and there is a decline from 2017 to 2021. However, we would like to see more progress and faster. Now, she also says part of the reason that it's helping trend downward some of the factors include billboards that have been up around the city that she thinks are increasing awareness and preparation. Christy, what did the report say about what's driving the trend? Well, it narrowed in on this one age group. It said there is a large decrease among teens and young adults. In fact, it said there was a 34% decrease among children ages 14 to 24, and that seems to be what's driving this trend. All sure. right. Interesting, Christy. Thank you so much.